way BET Plus threw me for a loop with this one, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a give it to you. My name is Ashley and this is My Sweet Perspective where I give my take on all things TV and movie related and I am here to put you on, okay? to talk about a brand new movie that premiered last week on BET Plus, Young, Wild, and Free, all right? Starring Sanaa Lathan, Sierra Capri, Augie Smith, correct me in the comments. I know y'all will. Y'all always correct me in the comments. But you guys, this was not what I expected. So the premise of the film is that there is this young man, a high school senior, Brandon, who is navigating his home life, right? With a mother who has mental health issues, two younger siblings and it's graduation he's got pressures what is he going to do right and so when I went into it the, because the trailer threw me for a loop honey he's at a gas station that gets robbed and honey the girl kisses him down and it looked like it's about to be Bonnie and Clyde right spoilers ahead if you haven't watched it click off the video and come back after you watch it because I'm gonna spoil everything all right and so immediately you are wondering who Brandon is because the first scene of the movie opens up and he's getting fired from his fast food job right and he's having visions of literally beating the boss down who's firing him and I'm like oh but that's normal you get fired you might feel some type of way right but then we go home and find out that the burden and pressure of supporting and taking care of his younger brother and sister are falling on his shoulders as his mom is most of the time in the bed right sleeping and I'm thinking depression but then later we find out she's been prescribed lithium and I believe that's for some other mental disorder right and so I'm like oh she's got that he also calls her by her first name which I'm like it's a strained relationship definitely he's had to be Mr man of the house for a long time and it shows he's getting the kids on the bus he's taking them to the park he's trying to make sure that they eat and so one night they're hungry there's no food she haven't cooked she's not even paying the property taxes on a house that was left to them and you, you own a house outright all you got to do is pay the property taxes and so he's out he don't have any money because he lost his job and he goes to the convenience store to steal some ramen noodles honey that's all he, he was just trying to feed them babies a girl comes in robs the store takes his wallet and kisses him down and I'm like what kind of freaky situation is this and he was all feeling like he was into it is the vibe you get and so later on she comes to the house fills the fridge up for the kids because she sees that they're hungry and so begins this love affair right between he and she halfway through the movie I thought he was in a dream I will say that I did think he was in a dream but I did not expect what it really was that this baby had apparently some form of psychosis and she was imagined he was living vicariously through her in his imagination but he was the one that was doing all this wild ish baby because when i tell you they're doing the absolute most for high schoolers in this film they're doing the absolute most you guys but i don't know it was a different story and y'all know i'm here for different storytelling and again, the only issue I had or or the only, I guess, criticism I'd have is that I would have liked us to explore exactly what that psychosis looked like, right? As soon as it's revealed, it's, it's over. And you're like, so what really happened? Did all of this really happen? Did only part of this happen? And then what is his journey going forward, right? Because some, some crazy stuff happens. And I'm like, what are the repercussions of this what is this going to to look like in the future we see his mom it seems reached some sort of resolution and finally he's in therapy with her but baby if all this stuff happened that went on in his head happened in real life we don't know that's the only part i can say that was lacking for me but if you guys want a good watch i would say watch it give it a chance and drop it in the comments let me know what you thought and let's talk about it. If you're still here, thank you for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.